Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel! And if you're new, hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be painting a cat because this has been uh, not highly requested but um, a relatively uh, uh, like a lot of people have been requesting uh, this tutorial from me. So although I've done a cat painting video before, uh, it was not really a tutorial because I was painting for a friend and then I did another painting tutorial for a cat and now I just want to do another one again for you. Let's begin now guys and I'll be beginning this by sketching first my cat. Let's begin now so get your pencils if you're using pencils or chalk if you're using chalk whatever it is uh, that you fancy. I'm just gonna use my pencil and I'm just gonna freehand sketch this. Let's begin now guys. So for my cat, um, I'm gonna start with the ear. Hmm. Okay, like that. Hope you can see that. And then here to here. And So I'm roughly sketching the subject because this will be painted over with fur anyway and as we go on we will be adjusting a lot of things you know this may or may not be the correct proportion but we're trying to get the general shape of my cat so here we go uh, this is a very cute cat right for all right that's the general shape of the cat <laughs> okay now for the eye maybe the eye is around here that okay next eye they say you know you know what they say the second eye is always the wrong uh, the wrong eye but let's not believe that <laughs> let's try our best to make the second eye nice Oh, I think that's nice. They're pretty uh, um, proportionate, you know, to the face. And this cat is looking up. It's like looking, looking at you when you're feeding them. <laughs> I'm gonna go and do the cute little nose. Again, guys, uh, this is the sketch part. Uh, it is a huge amount of the painting and it all um, your painting will like 80% or maybe 75% depend on your drawing because your painting is on top of that drawing following all the curves of the lines so if you commit mistake it's alright because you know paint are more um, forgiving than drawing because you can simply paint over so even if you do it wrong in sketching part you can correct that in the painting part yeah again we're just trying to get that general shape of this kitty 
Ooh, so cute. And then her cute little mouth. Ooh, like that. Okay, I'm gonna extend it right here. So you can see already the face of this kitty. And I'm gonna do a lot of fur later. So this will be really, really cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. You know, it's not yet done, but I'm already, I already find this cute. I don't know why. All right, like that. And. Okay. Okay. Like that. So if you want to, uh, if you want to paint, but you're having a hard time sketching, guys, you can take a screenshot of this one and use it as your uh, tracing pattern, so that you will not have a hard time drawing it. But again, guys, um, as I always tell you, as much as possible, let's do everything quite freehand, more than traced, because uh, that that will help us learn how to draw let us not depend on those traceables of course painting is fun and all that but let us try to not be afraid to learn something new me i'm also not good at drawing not too much but i always see to it that when i paint something or when i'm starting when i'm doing a tutorial everything is just freehand even when i do my own portrait i do freehand painting because I just want to learn. It's not about, it's not about getting uh, fast. Because I think grid is, you know, when you're done with the grid, it's like just coloring everything. But when you freehand draw something, it makes you learn how to look at the thing exactly. All right, I don't want to like, like talk too much about that. So let's proceed down with my kitty. So I'm going to underpaint first my cat and will be oh by the way guys i'll be using my foliage brush that i've been using ever since i did this tutorial uh video channel thing so this is just a, a stiff brush that you can use for foliage you can also use this for um uh fur you can use palette knife i'll be using palette knives later but maybe for purposes of uh, speed i'm just gonna go and use this one it's just a stiff brush it's kind of old so the stiffer it gets the more helpful it is for me in creating those fur and foliage we're not creating foliage today we're creating fur so let's begin now i'm gonna underpaint first my canvas oh my god guys so sorry i need to get water because my water bucket is empty give me a second All right, so I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, so for the underpainting, for the underpainting, I'm just gonna go and get my burnt sienna, orange, okay, like that. Add black to tone it down. Orange, and maybe yellow ochre. This is the underpainting for the fur. So let's begin now. I know it looks really, really weird right now because it's brown and we're not even painting a, a brown cat. This is the underpainting, guys. And if you know the, the rule in underpainting, it should be a tone darker or maybe three tone darker than the uh then the highlights so i'm making some suggestions of fur light brush strokes or suggestions of fur and i'm gonna extend that here 
and I'm doing my brush strokes in a horizontal manner so that I create that fur like um, brush strokes. All right, like that. I'm gonna use the same color to color here. So again, burnt sienna, orange, and black. Okay, so just color that part because this is already the back of the cat. Alright. I'm gonna underpaint again her face. Her face this time. Oops, sorry. Okay. And I'm just using my hand. For now, it's gonna be looking really, really weird. It's like uh, an alien cat. All right, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna get my titanium white and mix it with this existing uh, brownie color. I'm gonna add black to that. Again, white. I'm gonna add orange. And I'm gonna go, okay, add more white. I'm gonna go inside. So it's just like, it's just like light brownie color. I'm gonna add black, guys. Add black. I really want this quite grayish. Like that and I'm gonna use the same color here okay add more orange maybe okay add more white this time make it light Okay, again, light brown here. Here as well, near the eyes. Okay, get your dark browns, get your burnt sienna, your black, and your orange. And I forgot to, yeah, underpaint the upper portion of the eyes. I forgot. And here. All right, like that. Okay, wash your brush out, not too well, I mean, just get your white and allow the remaining brown paints to mix with the white and I'm just going to add a tiny bit of black to that. I'm going to underpaint now the mouth. here <laughs> this is a cute cat <laughs> all right here near the the chicks Okay, again, get your brownie colors. It's like Garfield. Okay, brown here. All 
Okay, wash your brush out. Get a smaller brush, perhaps. And, okay, get your orange, your white. Get your um, yellow ochre. Again, white. So it's like pink. I'm gonna add more orange. All right, now I'm gonna color the nose. Oh, I think I need more orange. I might need some red color later, but that would be later. For now, let's just underpaint everything. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna finish the underpainting for the upper portion of the nose. The underpainting should be really, really dark compared to the actual colors of the um, highlights and the fur. Like that. Okay. Now, I want you to get your red color. And make some pink get your titanium white mix it with the red color and just go around oh later later let's make the mouth like that and then here and then like that Okay, I'm gonna underpaint because let's finish this part. Let's underpaint this part near the mouth just to cover everything. Like that. Like that. Okay. Now, I want you to get your thalo blue. Okay, get your thalo blue. And just color the inside of the cat's eye. Using pure thalo blue. And the other eye, same thing. This is the underpainting, so don't you worry guys if the cat is looking weird right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go around those eyes using our light browns. So mix your brown with white. Okay, more white. Like that. Okay, here. Okay, here and down. Mm 
Mm, that's nice. Get your white, add to your brown, add a bit of black to tone it down. Okay. All right, like that. Now I want you to get your phthalo blue again, mixed with your white, so make some light blue. If you have an existing cerulean blue, it's all right. But me, I want to mix my colors. I'm gonna add white to my phthalo, water it down, and I'm just gonna go inside the eye. And of course, using my fingers just to blend, Easy blending. Okay, like that. Wash your brush out. Now I'm gonna get my yellow ochre, watered it down, add tiny bit of burnt sienna to my yellow ochre. All right, maybe add a tiny bit of orange this color, guys. Water it down and paint on the center. I'm not swiping anything. I'm dabbing. Add a tiny bit of white. Oops, tiny bit. Oh, that's not tiny bit. So I'm just okay like that. Okay, you wash your brush out. Now get your phthalo blue again. Add a tiny bit of black. This tiny bit and go around the eye again. Okay, now just close the gap here because, yeah, just close those gaps that we weren't able to underpaint. If you did not miss any part, then that's good for you. Me, I'm just closing it. You can allow this first to dry let me check okay this is really cute now I'm gonna get my um, my brush this is the foliage brush that I was talking about and I'm just gonna get my burnt sienna my orange and my yellow ochre orange again so I'm just gonna go and make some fur like um, text uh, brush strokes by swiping it upwards.
Okay, again, add yellow ochre, maybe add a tiny bit of white for more visibility. Very short brush strokes or dabbing. Or by dabbing your paintbrush, you're going to create short brush strokes that are more fur like. Oops, that's quite yellow. We're doing the first, I must say, first layer of our fur. This is not the final yet. more white here okay add more white so make the left side quite light All right, add more white this time. Add more white to your orange. And we will be layering a lot, guys. We will be layering a lot. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black. tiny bit of black to my orange oh that's a lot of black I'm gonna add white and I will make this quite grayish again this is not the final look we're just trying to get that um, first layer effect here, some gray colors. Okay, add more white. it under her mouth All right, it's getting dirty now so wash your brush out I have no idea what time we will be finishing but I don't mind because uh, this is a cute painting anyway okay. so get your titanium white get your cad yellow mix them the two of them but more white and I'm gonna go here near the eyes all right like that <laughs> and I'm gonna okay I'm gonna change brush So I'm gonna get my titanium white, my cad yellow, this tiny bit, 
and orange. Maybe add more cad yellow and then white. So it's like this, like yellow, I mean light yellow orange. And okay, I'm gonna add more white. And this time you can see I'm using an ordinary brush to create some fur. Just use the tip of your brush and add more patience. Okay, add more white to this area. the face and here and here just do this along the initial stage of our fur so I'm gonna get cad yellow and orange again here Orange. Okay, add more orange and then white. This is our like second layer and I think the eyes are already dry so I'm gonna get my red we're going to the mouth and add a tiny bit of blue okay and we're going to detail the or add some details in the nose part And using pink color, I'm going to add red and white or mix red and white. I'm going to water down that pink color and I'm going to go inside the nose. Inside the nose. Here. Inside this shape. It's like booping the cat. And then I'm going to create a tiny mouth. Make some pinks. Because the skin or the, the fur around her mouth is quite pinkish. Okay, get your red plus stalo blue i mean just darken like that make some dark spots Like that. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna get again my fur, uh, my foliage brush, but this time it's quite smaller because it's a small version of that brush. Again, don't stress too much if you don't have this brush. I'm only doing this for purposes of um, speed. You know, you don't have to get this brush. If you want, you can get it too. But I don't know if you can buy this somewhere else. I bought this from Korea. So anyway, guys, it's just a round brush, a stiff brush. So for sure it is, or they have something like this similar in your area. So I'm just gonna make smaller fur. I'm gonna get my white, pure white. And if you're new to my channel, uh, forgive that noise every single time I'm painting because uh, you can hear the streets right in front of my building. So all the cars are in there. Yeah, like that. I'm gonna add white here, down here. Okay, I'm gonna get some gray color. So get your white plus black. Okay, we're gonna make some gray for here. Some grays. As you can see, we're layering a lot. Yeah. Ears. Right, now I'm gonna get my pure white Okay, get your yellow orange. So I'll be playing with yellow orange, white, and some yellows. Then light yellows, like this. I was telling you about the noise outside so you can see it's a cute cat already although the fur is not yet the fur is not yet detailed so I'm gonna go to the eyes and this will really give this life get your white okay get your white plus uh, yellow and orange so it's light yellow orange Like 
that. Okay, wash your brush out. Get your phthalo blue plus black. Okay, phthalo blue plus black. We're gonna go and make some more detailing. Okay, get your pure white, pure white. Again, pure white. Okay, get your yellow orange and just extend it here. Okay, maybe more orange on top here. So we're playing with light. All right, wash your brush out. Okay, get your phthalo blue again. Phthalo blue plus white. So it's like cerulean blue and just I'm gonna lighten this area. Let's allow that first to dry and we're gonna go and continue with the fur I'm gonna get my light yellow orange by adding white to my existing yellow orange and I'm just gonna dab Alright, now I'm going to get my burnt sienna and mix that with my red or maybe and then I'm going to add some yellows and then red and I'm just going to go back to some areas. Dab it here. Here. So 
get more brown. And black. Okay, get more black. And darken this area. I'm going to grade this part of her cheek. So get your black, water it down, your black. And just shade it quite dark here. This is just to suggest some curves on her face, on her cute little face. Okay, get more black. Water down, guys. Okay. Make some dark brown. Get your burnt sienna plus black. Alright, wash your brush out and then get your white. Go here. And lighten the left side of her face. Get some light orange. Okay, like that. And make some gray again. Gray. Maybe add some red. And I'm gonna color the ear so that it becomes more deep. Wash your brush out. Mm, this is cute. But we will add more details later. I'm gonna get more white because I already ran out of white. So get your white. I'm just gonna highlight. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so sorry about that noise. If you heard that. Uh, that's my neighbor. Okay, get your white again. Yeah, that's my neighbor's child. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, 
Oops, sorry. I'm just gonna make some more highlights using white. But the way I am applying it, I hope you, you notice, it's quite random. gonna make some fur here and highlight the ear like this okay make some fur again I'm just using white guys but the way I am applying it um, please observe how I'm doing it uh, it may help you but if you have your own way of doing certain things you continue doing it um, if you learn something from this well then that's well and good just gonna get my yellow ochre yellow ochre and I'm just gonna highlight some areas here like that again yellow ochre Get your burnt sienna. I'm gonna darken the nose part like that. Wash your brush out. Now get your gray color. Make some black plus white. But it's, it should be quite dark. And just continue the mouth because it's not... Okay, the white is still mixing. Darken it. And here. Okay, now get your pure white. Pure white.
just outline the shape of her face using your what? This is because the light is hitting her face. Here as well. Again, you swipe and just glaze her face like that. Glaze it. And then make some highlights. Okay, wash your brush out. Now I'm gonna glaze the eyes. Just use your existing cerulean blue or phthalo blue plus white and water it down and just go inside the beautiful eye of the cat and glaze it. Allow it to dry like that okay let's do the whiskers part you know that's quite interesting let's get your pure white pure white and just make some whiskers of course i will teach you something later for now it's gonna be like this make some like Random whiskers here and there. All right, and let's go to the other side. It's not. All right, now I want you to get your gray color. Gray. And let's continue the whiskers. It has to be gray here because the background is white. So for the whiskers to be seen, make it quite dark. Like that. Well. All right, wash your brush out. Now get your pure white and let's go back to the eye.
Okay, make some pink, pink colors. And let's go around again her mouth. Right, I'm going to dry this now. That will do. Now get your palette knives. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my pure white plus tiny bit of orange and yellow. But more white, guys. More white. Make sure you have more white than any other color. And orange. Like that, and let's go and make some. Okay, that's two yellow. I'm gonna delete that one. All right, like that. Just tap and create some random uh, markings to make the fur mo look more like natural. get your brown so burnt sienna and tiny bit of black and use that to make some more details Here. her face Again, get your light orange and if the brown mixture is mixing as long as you're using your palette knife let's create some details guys I'm gonna add more white maybe Okay, I'm gonna delete that part because it's not nice. All right. Okay, now get your light orange and define the ears. Okay, add some brown. Okay, light orange plus brown. Let's go here and make this quite soft. Okay, again, brown plus black. All right, 
我是不是啊？你听一下。Get a smaller brush. Get your light brown, so brown plus white. Okay, maybe add a tiny bit of red. And just go here and make some dots. Okay. To suggest, uh, you know, the whiskers, where the whiskers are, uh, the pores. <laughs> <laughs> the pores <laughs> okay I'm gonna add a tiny bit of orange and of course you have to balance it here just make tiny dots because it is covered in fur anyway so as long as you can see that there is a suggestion of it, that's really good. I just added some orange. Okay, I'm gonna add orange. I'm gonna add yellow to my orange. Maybe white. I'm gonna use again my foliage uh, brush and make some more details. Okay, I'm gonna dab on some more um, some more details. Get your pure white. It's actually taking us a lot of time because um, this is portrait. I'm just gonna dab on some white here. I'm just using the tip of my brush in creating that.
So I'm just using white, dry brushing it all over the body and face of my cat. Alright, now get more orange and I'm just gonna dab it here near the right cheek. Just dab guys, dab. I think this is highly technical. Um, if you appreciate this kind of painting tutorial, maybe from time to time, I'm going to do something like this. Highly technical. More than just telling you what colors to be used. Wash your brush out. Now let's dry this for a while. Get your white. Let's go back to the eye. And here, I'm just gonna glaze this part white. I'm not painting it again, just glazing it, meaning use some watered down paints, in this case, white, to create that lighter effect. Now let's glaze this side white. I'm gonna get my pure white, water it down, and simply glaze this part with that white. By glazing it, you're uh, lightening that side of her face. good okay get your orange oh this is cute all right now get your uh, orange plus yellow okay and we're trying to, we're going to glaze it a bit because everything is quite dark. Not everything, but some areas. 
So I'm just gonna use that orange and just glaze some area so that it's not super dark. Removing those uh, lines that are super dark. All right. Okay. Now I'm just going to delete some errors here. Just try to clean your painting. This is nice. Just soften, soften those uh, super hard lines. Try to soften them. Oh, this is nice and I think we're done right I have to sign this now oh maybe not not yet I'm just gonna get more white just gonna add more like fur and whiskers So, yep. And whiten. Make some more detailing here. Alright. Oh, I forgot. Let's create more whiskers. Okay, now get your gray. Okay, get your light brownie color. Okay, again, white. Okay, more white.
Okay. All right. Wash your wash out. And I think I have to sign this now, guys, because, yeah, we're done. I'm just going to sign my cat. All right. Hmm. Let me check. Yes, this is cute. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this simple cat painting. You can do as uh, as detailed as you as what you can detail this, or you can put so many details as much as you want. But for me, this is done because the general shape of the cat is there, the expression is there. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one because I did. I love cats, by the way. So thanks for watching. And wait, guys. Of course, you know me. Get your gray <laughs> and cover some areas. Not cover, but lighten it. Like that. Make it quite light. They're there, but they should not be super visible. Let me check. Yes, that's more like it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next video, guys. And of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love you.